Now this is, um, uh, a, it, it's a huge factory. <laughs> um, and we have, uh, we, we have a couple other views of it up here on the table. This is Janesville Machine Company. And um, uh, if, if you really want to stretch things, <laughs> um, this started in, in 1869. And it, and, it, uh, and, it, and it went through a number of different changes of ownership, like a lot of these things, and different boards of directors, and different investors. But um, by, by uh, 1860, or by 1880, they were employing 125 people. And it wasn't this large yet. But uh, 125 people was the largest employer in the city. They were making, of course, uh, farm equipment, farm machinery, and it was a number of different things. There's a, a snow, or there's a, a plow up here, and uh, uh, they had corn planters and, and almost anything that you can think of that was cast iron farm machinery. Um, by 1908, they had grown to 350 employees, and again, they were the largest employer. In 1918, they were purchased by General Motors. General Motors came to town, uh, said, well, this is what we're going to do. And they, they, they purchased, General Motors purchased this company and a company in California and merged them. The company that they that they bought in California was the Samson Tractor Company. And GM had made up their mind that they were going to get into the tractor business. And so by, uh, by, 19, by 1918, um, when, this was, when this was purchased, then GM, of course, did the same thing. They pulled out what they wanted, merged, brought the tractor company in, brought people with the tractor company in, brought local people in, and, uh, and, and this, this factory was torn down, closed, whatever you want. It, it's just, it, is not, it is not the GM factory, but it's... But it's um, so is there another one there? Yeah, and this is just a display that they had you can see in the background here some of the types of, of implements this was uh, maybe at a fair or something like that or a, a, an exposition of some kind where they had it where they had a display but it took a pretty big company to be able to put up a display like that uh, you weren't small potatoes if you were doing that where was the company um, it was it was uh, down along the river um, by where, uh, in there by where Ace Hardware is. Um, uh, I, I, what is that? Is it, it's River Street on, on that side. River and Water, I get those two mixed up. River Street on that side, and it was down along in there. We have another one? Yeah, and, and uh, then this, that brings us to the Samson Tractor. This is, this is, this is the Samson Tractor Company. Um, and they built a new factory in 1919 um, down where it is today on Industrial Avenue. I think back then it was 1000 Industrial Avenue and again today they've changed that name again. And, um, but anyhow, the, the first tractor that they made, we have, a, we have an ad for one of their tractors, but it was called the Iron Horse. And as you can see, six $630 bought an iron horse. And that was a, that was a GM, uh, GM's entry into the uh, uh, tractor business. This, of course, is not an iron horse. Um, that's a, it's a later one. Uh, but what happened was that GM's venture into the tractor market was a total failure, an absolute total failure. Um, the one article that I read 
I don't, I don't know if you can imagine how much money this would be in the 1920s. A GM lost $34 million in 1920 dollars when they ventured into the tractor business. And yet, they stayed here in town. <laughs> and um, what they did, of course, as we all know, is Samson Tractor. They redid the plant. Um, uh, they started to make automobiles. They brought in Fisher Body. Um, and, and we're where we are today. Um, so uh, if, if you want to, like I say, if you want to really stretch it, um, that business has basically been in business since 1869. Now they've gone through some transformations and so forth, but it, it's, it, it's, it's all about iron. It's all about cast iron. And it's all about uh, machines and wheels. And um, so it, it's, it's, it's really how something can fail like that and then all of a sudden come out of the ashes and you start to make cars with rubber wheels. So. You, you might mention the fact that that iron horse, it wasn't, there wasn't a steering wheel. It was, it was a transition from horse-drawn, so you had reins. And that's how you pulled on the reins to go Left, this one will go left, this one will go right. So probably kind of maybe a little bit antiquated. That was part of the problem. But anyway, they did lose a huge chunk of money for the for that day and time. 